In today's video, I'm going to share my affiliate marketing strategy that has been working for me so far. Coming up. So this affiliate marketing strategy that I'm about to show you has been going on for about, I'll say about a year and it's been really working really, really well. So let's go through it and let me show you what I cover here. So over here, the most important thing is if you want to get started with affiliate marketing is to choose products that you really, really know how to use and products that you really stand behind. So in my case, you can see here, I've got DV, Learn Dash, Cut Flows and Mail Poet. Now I've just added Mail Poet here. This didn't used to be on the list, but as soon as I saw the offer that was on AppSumo, this is where I really jumped into it and I started promoting it because it is a fantastic deal. In fact, the deal is there right now. If you purchase one of the lifetime deals, you get unlimited licenses to unlimited websites to host your emails, which is fantastic because all these emails platforms out there, they charge you monthly. All right. So over here, I've mastered Divi. I've been using it for a very, very long time. I've also mastered uh, Learn Dash and recently Cart Flows. So these are the software that I use pretty much on a day to day basis. So the reason why you may want to choose software that you really, really know about, or even tools. It doesn't have to be software, by the way. It could be maybe tools that you use every day and those tools, you really master them. So let me give you an example. So I know in my case here, this is software, but it could be maybe camera gear. So you maybe master how to use the Sony a7 III. You go really behind it and uh, know, you know, the bells and whistles. And this is how you get to promote you know, these products easier. So here, the type of videos that I create are videos that are how to videos, reviews, comparisons, and live workshops. Now I normally do this to promote these products because I really want people to have an idea or, or have inspiration on how they can use these products. Like for example, Divi, if I did just one video on uh, maybe a review, that wouldn't work. You'd need, you know, quite a few videos where you can show people how to use Divi in different, different ways. Likewise, if you have a camera and you're doing a camera review, you also want to do extra videos where you show people like before and afters, how to use the camera in different situations, lighting, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Because remember, as an affiliate marketer, you are pretty much doing the sales for the company. You are the, uh, the middleman. So you have the product, you're the middleman, and you're trying to convince as many people as possible to buy that product. But of course, it has to be a product that you stand behind, as I mentioned before. So here on the how-to videos, this is where I pretty much created quite a lot of videos. I mean, I uh, recently I've been producing two videos a week, uh, two videos a day, just to try and get as many videos as I can on my topics over here. I've also done a few reviews, but with the reviews, I make sure that I review a product that I'm really happy about. I don't have time to go in and do reviews of products where I've got a lot of negative things to say, because to be honest, that's a waste of my time. I rather go in and talk about all the positives. If there's a few things <clears throat> that I may want uh, people to be aware of, that's where I could mention that. In the, uh, like, for example, here in MailPoet, although this is a fantastic tool and a fantastic deal, one thing that it lacks is if you want to do tags, then this is not for you. But it doesn't mean that the whole software or the whole program does not work. So these are the sort of things that I highlight just to make sure that people are you know, on board on what I'm actually doing. And this actually brings trust when you are referring these products to your potential audience. So this is very, very important to highlight those things. But in general, I try to uh, promote things that are pretty much, you know, 99.9% .9 something that I stand behind, something that I'm using. And if I'm lacking a few features, I also mention those in that program. Okay, so moving on. Comparisons. Now, this is something I haven't really done, but comparisons re work really, really well. The only problem is there's a lot of work that needs to go that need to go into it. So, for example, you would say, uh, like in my case here, I could do a comparison between Divi and uh, let's say Elementor. So I'll have to list the positives here, the positives here, the negatives here, the negatives here, and so on until I have a fully featured side by side comparison. And even if it's a male poet here, I'll, I could perhaps maybe compare this to, let's say, ConvertKit. And again, I would have to list all those uh, positives on each side, all the negatives on each side, and let the viewer decide what they want to do. Now, here's the thing. Over here now, I have live workshops. Again, this is also trying to promote these products. I've done live, uh, live workshops for male poet, cut flows, <clears throat> and even 
Learn Dash. So this has worked really, really well, but it needs a lot of uh, work because here you need a massive audience for, for the audience to convert into people that are going to buy the product. So in my case, I have a mailing list and I also have a YouTube following. So if you're just starting off, this may be a bit difficult. So I really want to say this uh, out there that uh, live workshops, you want to really build your audience first and then try live workshops. Otherwise, this one here is a bit difficult to do. Now, if you're a beginner, where do you start? No audience, you have no mailing list. I would say master any one of your uh, tools that you use on a day-to-day -day basis or even tools that you uh, plan to use. You master them and then create a lot of content about those tools. Now, when you create that content, you also have to add in your affiliate link in the video descriptions. So in my case here, my affiliate link goes to my website. I mean, on my website and uh, I have what is known as a bridge page. So this is a page where I allow people to leave their, uh, their email address so that I can send them bonuses. So you can see here, I've added bonuses. So the reason why I have bonuses here is depending on your niche and also your competition, you really wanna stand out here. So for example, here for Divi, I know there's quite a lot of people there promoting Divi. So to make my offer more enticing, what I do is I offer a bonus, which here teaches people how to use the product, in this case, Divi. So this is me adding more value if people buy this product here using my affiliate link. I also do the same with LearnDash. I have a complete LearnDash course, which helps people as soon as they buy LearnDash to set up their own websites and get it up and running really fast. So this has really worked quite well for me. But of course, it takes a lot of work to create these bonuses and uh, you have to really create fully fledged courses and these courses need to be high quality because if they're not good, people are going to give you feedback and say, you know what, these courses are not very good. And once people start putting feedback out there on the internet, it doesn't look good. It, it messes up your brand. So you really have to create very good courses here that work as your bonuses when people purchase your products here. And as I mentioned before, <clears throat> this bridge page is very, very important because here you can also do email follow-ups because not everyone that comes on this bridge page actually buys the product. So they may need a bit of nudging or reminders to get them to buy the actual product. So this bridge page here, how it works is as soon as they enter their name or email address, it redirects them to the product that they need to buy. So when it redirects them to that product, once they buy, they need to send you an email or contact you that they've bought the product. And that is where now you give them this bonus. So over here on the email follow-ups as well, if they don't buy the product here, if they don't buy the product, you want to have an email follow-up sequence here that um, reminds them of the benefits of this product that you're trying to promote. And also uh, one thing that have worked really well for me is you remind, them, you remind them of the features and the benefits and also remind them of the bonuses that they get uh, when they purchase through your affiliate link. So over here, what I also do is I use ConvertKit because ConvertKit allows me to add tags because it's very difficult to know who has gone to which site or which page to track them. So over here, I can tell if someone hasn't bought the product because they won't have the tag that they've bought the actual product. So this is very, very important. I use ConvertKit for this to work. MailPoet does not have a tagging system. However, I use MailPoet here for list building. But for affiliate marketing, I use ConvertKit over here. Again, I'll leave that link to ConvertKit in my video description below. But I would say if you really want to use ConvertKit, you, you really have to be on top of this. It's not something that you want to sign up for and then you just leave it lying around because it is a monthly payment uh, product. So you are going to be losing a lot of money if you don't use that product. Okay, so as I mentioned here, the bonuses are very, very important. They have to be fully fledged courses for this to actually work. Now, my plan for the future is to tweak this and make it even better because right now you have to create, I have to create a lot of content for this affiliate marketing strategy to work. And for some of you that are just starting off, this may be something that's uh, a bit of a challenge because it's not easy to create, you know, a lot of content, especially if you're uh, if you are starting off. So in my case here, what I do is um, I create a lot of content because I've been doing this for quite a while now. So for me, it's, you know, much easier, but it is very, 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 very challenging. So that's what I would do here. But I will also be sharing with you my advanced systems that I'm going to be creating for the future. And uh, this will be involving funnels 
in this affiliate marketing strategy. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. And if you like these tutorials, please let me know in the video description below. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Take care.